sinasabi po ni Deacon Noni, ang team niya kanina, listen carefully. And now, be careful. In verse 12, basahin ko po sa verse 12, chapter 2 verse 12 and then please read it if you found it please leaves us good lives among the pagans that will be accused of going wrong they mean will be accused of going wrong they may see your good deeds and glorify God on the day this is us. Amen. Thank you, Dito Noni. I said number two is be careful. Why? Because there are many critical spectators in this war. There are many beloved brothers and sisters. Others are watching to see if our faith is real. And many are hoping that we will be defeated. So, they can criticize us. Amen. Sometimes people outside, they are watching our, our ways of, of speaking, of our, the way we talk, the way we, the way we walk, the way we love. They see it, beloved brothers and sisters. The way we comment in Facebook. Tinitingnan po yan, mga kapatid. Tinitingnan po yan ng mga nasa labas, beloved brothers and sisters. And if you fail to their expectations, they will judge you that your faith is not real. It's only a Sunday go church. And that is the people outside the church, beloved brothers and sisters. So, let us be careful. Can you please say to yourself, be careful. Be careful. <laughs> and beloved brothers and sisters, our lives are being continually inspected by unbelievers. Ini inspection po nila ang ating buhay, mga kapatid ko, by Kristo. Lagi nilang binug, talagi nilang uh, discrotinize our life the way we will live. So that's why, beloved, and we cannot put shotgun in the mouth and please keep silent. If you, if you, if you criticize me once again, I will, I will, uh, I will, uh, shotgun. I will, uh, put up the shotgun. I will shoot you. I will shoot you. <laughs> Amen. Darap mga po natin ang Panginoon. <laughs> Hallelujah. Naintindi naman siya po. Tumatawa si brother, si brother, brother John. Amen. Maybe he will, uh, alimutan ko yung kalabi. I will pull, I will uh, pull the trigger. And then they will bang you up. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yes, beloved brothers and sisters, we cannot do that because we are a Christian, beloved brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Nanitutuloy ako doon sa bam. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yes, we cannot do that. We cannot, we cannot put our, our critics inside the drum and we'll put cement and throw them in the midst of the sea. We cannot do that. And as a Christian, we cannot, we cannot do, do uh, in the, our Facebook and post something on. So, oh, if you are a Christian, you, you don't uh, post in your Facebook that says, Oh, you are song to be bingo. <laughs> do you want... Do you know what is the B-I-N-G-O? You know bingo? And sometimes they uh, use that in a, in a figurative speech. And bingo says if you, it means that if you, don't, if you don't stop what you're doing in her or in, or in him, you will, you will be sold to bingo. That means maybe you will be, you will be die or they will be punch you if you, did, if you do not. 
if you do not stop what you're doing to him or to her. And somebody's telling them before, malapit ka ng bibingo. <laughs> At syempre, kung ikaw naman, malapit ka ng bibingo. Malapit ka naman magsasalita, ayun, nabibingo nga na. So, beloved brothers and sisters, let us be careful. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And, so, sabi ko kanina, hindi po natin magagawa yun. So, what, what we gonna do, beloved brothers and sisters, to silence our critics? We are to welcome this inspection. Knowing our lives can stand the test. Do you know that your life can stand the test? Can you please say amen? amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If your life can stand the test, allow the inspection because you know that your faith is genuine or genuine in the, before the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So just allow. Okay lang. Oh, inspection it mo ang buhay ko. Dahil alam mo sa sarili mo na pasado ka sa test na ibinibigay po niya, mga kapatid ko, kay Kristo. Amen. And as a Christian, beloved brothers and sisters, let us be thankful. Let us be thankful to those who critical all lookers. Why, Pastor? Why would you, why, why would you thank? Why? You said, we, let us be thankful to those critical all lookers. And the down, the defame me. Why? Because, beloved brothers and sisters, because they provide opportunities to prove our faith is genuine. Amen. Yes, beloved, the critical on locals provide the opportunities to prove that our faith is genuine. Kung wala sila, we cannot prove our faith if it's genuine. In one building, beloved brothers and sisters, you cannot say that building is very strong if there's no earthquakes and typhoons. Once that earthquakes, that it's earthquakes shake that, that building on, and the building will not collapse, you will say, oh, that building is very strong. And even us, like Christians, Sabi niya kanya, in the winds and the storms, nandun man lahat ng mga storms na buhay ng isang tao, beloved brothers and sisters, <coughs> they will say unto you that you are a strong Christian if you are tested by the critical onlookers or, or typhoons, earthquakes in our lives. Amen. Amen. So let us be thankful for that. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of God. So the question is, why must we be so careful to be absolutely honest and moral? Why? Because we represent Jesus Christ to the world. Amen. Do you believe in that? Amen. Amen. Sabi nga po, nang ang dating da, sabi nga, basa. So let us, let us word let us uh, read, read the words of God in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 20. Basa. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 20, it says, Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God were pleading through us, we implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. Hallelujah! Kung hindi pala tayo ambasador ng Korea, we are ambassadors for Christ and we represent Christ, beloved brothers and sisters. That's why, let us be careful in our words, in our walk before the Lord. Because someone is watching us. Someone on lookers watching our thoughts, our ways. Beloved us, a Christian, beloved brothers and 
sisters. Sabi po niya dito in last in last statement said be reconciled to God. So the question is, beloved brothers and sisters, so how they can reconcile to God if we ambassadors of Christ are doing what the words used to do? Na tayo mismo na ambasador ni Cristo, representative ni Cristo, beloved sisters, brothers and sisters, are doing what the words used to do. Paano po sila magiging rekon magig magmarerekonsal kay Kristo kung tayo mismo ay gumagawa ng mga mundong gawain? So let us be careful, beloved brothers and sisters. Amen po ba? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And num number letter B, we must so be careful because we are to shine as lights in the dark place. Remember, in the dark place, it means it is the unbeliever's word. It is the word na wala, sa, wala si Kristo sa buhay nila. Sila, nila sa be careful. Kung tayo po ay ayayain nila, if, we, uh, if somebody to uh, invite us to come, let us join in the, in the uh, child dedications and let us be drunk, drink, drink wine, wine. Beloved brothers and sisters, be careful on that. You are Christians. You are ambassador. You are representative of Jesus Christ in this earth. That's why, beloved brothers and sisters, be careful. Amin po ba, mga Amen. Amin po ba, ambassadors of Christ? Amen. Amin po ba, representative ni Christo? Amen. Amen. And we must so be careful because our light will glorify our Father in heaven. And we can see that in Matthew chapter 5 verse 16. Basahin niyo po sa inyo mga kapatid, chapter 5 verse 16, sabi po niya, you Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works. Take note of this, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Hallelujah. And if you let your shine be shine to the men, beloved brothers and sisters, and if they see your good works, they will glorify also your Father in heaven. <coughs> How about if they see you lying in other woman and if you, if you have a wife? Will they glorify your Father in heaven? Or will they curse you and curse the Father in heaven? So that's why, beloved brothers and sisters, if you want that our Father will be glorified, let your light shine Amen. before men. Amen. 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 And if you care for Christ and souls, we will be careful. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And last but not the least, <coughs> maybe aabutin pa tayo dito ng alas dos. Is it okay for you, beloved Amen. brothers and sisters? Na rin, um, I remember, uh, I posted in the Facebook that sabi po niya, itatagalogin ko na lang. Sabi po niya, Kapag ang 100 peso bill ay bitin daw, it is uh, not enough if you are in the uh, groceries or, uh, or uh, pasyalan, sosyalan. But sa, sa loob ng church, it is a big money for you. And sometimes, kulang po ang oras. Kulang daw po ang oras. Yung isang oras ay kulang daw sa pamamasyal. Pero sa, 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 sa isang sa, sa loob ng church, yung isang oras, parang sampung araw na. Amen. Is it true, beloved brothers and sisters? Yes. So, sana naman hindi, mga kapatid. So, 
Sabi nga nang hindi ko nunin ka nina, just listen carefully. Hallelujah. Number three, be consistent. Nakikita po natin dito, beloved brothers and sisters, that Peter calls for more than Sunday go to meeting Christianity. Hindi lang po yung Sunday goers dito. Ang Christianity po mga kapatid, it's not only Sunday goers. If you are you are in you are uh, in Sunday, oh I am a Christian, but no, even Monday, Tuesday to Saturdays, it is involved, beloved brothers and sisters. And the Christianity, the Christian message encompasses every area of life. Because we have the unique privilege of being citizens. A of heaven, beloved brothers and sisters. And, of course, we are also citizens on earth and are called to demonstrate that we are different. Amen. Amen. Do you believe that you are different from outside? Amen. Yes. Amen. Praise the Lord. So that's why, beloved brothers and sisters, let us demonstrate to them that we Christians are different to them. If they are drunk, if you are drinking liquors, if they are taking shabus, if they are taking marijuana, if they have compost, beloved brothers and sisters, <coughs> let us show to them that the Christians, believers in the Lord Jesus Christ, is different from them. Amen. Amen. Praise be the name of God. And if we do that, we can silence our critics. Amen. Hallelujah. Through clean, careful, and consistent living for Christ. And if we do that, beloved brothers and sisters, we may influence them. We may influence many of them to trust our Lord. Amen. Do you want to influence yes. your <coughs> friends outside? Amen. Amen. Do you want to influence your family? Amen. Amen. Do you want to influence your husband or, or wives? Amen. Amen. If you want to influence them, beloved brothers and sisters, be clean, be careful and be consistent in living, living for Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Tumayo po tayong lahat na kapit ko kay Kristo. Sabi ng iba, Oy, salamat. Hallelujah. Makakatayo din kami. But beloved brothers and sisters, we are here now not only because we want to see our friends. We want to seek help from the church. But we are here to glorify our Father in heaven. Amen. So, nasabi ko lagi po, sinasabi ng dito ka na rin lang. Let's be serious. Serious to serve the Lord Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Beloved brothers and sisters, I experienced to live in the world with the loss of the press, loss of the eyes, and pride of life. I experienced that. But when I found the Lord Jesus, in my life, He changed me. Amen. He changed from glory to glory. And I believe God will do that for you. If you are willing to accept, surrender your life to Him. Hallelujah. 
May I request everyone to please close your eyes. Bow your heads. At isipin mo, kapatid, what I've done careless in this world. Careless in front of my friends. That caused them to stumble instead of glorifying my Father in heaven. Come on, talk to God. Say sorry to the Lord if you have done wrong in the sight of your friends, in the sight of those onlookers, of those unbelievers. Beloved, we can win them. We can win them and bring them to Christ. If we are so clean, and if we are so careful in our deeds, we will bring them to Christ. And if you love them, if you love Christ and love their souls, please be consistent in the faith of our Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to your name, Father. Thank you, Lord, for these words. Thank you so much, Father. Oh, glory, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you so much. Lord, you know the hearts of my brethren. Sometimes we don't want to do it. But sometimes, na panghihinaan po kami ng loob. Nakagawa po kami ng kasalanan, Panginoon. Instead, to influence and believers, to praise the Father in heaven, we compromise on them. We compromise to their wrong deeds. Forgive us, Father God. Yes. Forgive us, Lord. Hallelujah. May the Holy Spirit help us, Father God. Help us to be clean. Help us to be careful in what we did and what we see, what we speak, Father God. And help us also to be consistent in our living for you. <coughs> Hallelujah. Father, thank you so much, Lord, for your words. I am not good in English, Father God. But thank you for giving me the wisdom, giving me the knowledge to speak in English, Father. And I pray that the Holy Spirit will move in their hearts and in their minds to perceive your message, Father God. That in the time, the moment that they will tempt it, they will remember these words in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord, I pray for this congregation, O God. Let our light so shine before men. Lahat po ng ilaw po namin, Panginoon, pag ilawin mo sa mundong ito, Panginoon. Yes, Amen. Upang pupurihan ka, mapapurihan ang ama namin po na sa langit. Help us, Father God, that every time, every seconds, put in our minds and in hearts that we, we must do good works for you. Yes, Lord. Good works to the unbelievers. Yes. And even, especially to my our brethren in Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Lord God. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.